How many times have you heard your coach say, stop shooting your butt up in the air, or you look like a stripper when you lift, right? We all know that we're not supposed to do it, uh, but today we're going to try to show you some, some exercises you can do to try to fix it, but also more importantly, why is it not a necessarily good thing to do? So first, let's look at the hip level right here. So we'll put a line here, and watch the athlete. He's going to do this incorrectly. He's going to shoot his butt up, and watch the displacement of how far his butt shoot up, right? But if you notice the bar, the bar has barely left the ground. So his hips have moved probably a good six to eight inches, but yet the bar has maybe moved two inches off the ground. Why is that important? Because I've barely moved the bar and I've now killed the strongest part of my body. My legs are now almost fully extended and I've barely moved the bar off the ground. So what's going to have to happen to keep this bar moving? is that it's going to be, have to be pure back trying to lift the weight, as seen here, right? So as the athlete barely gets it to mid-shin, he now has to use nothing but lower back to finish the lift, right? And that's not going to be powerful as our legs could be in order to finish the lift, right? So we'll show you again. Here, watch the athlete shoot their butt up. Again, they get to about mid-shin, and then they have to use their back completely to finish the, uh, the lift. Now, if done correctly, you'll notice here the hips and shoulders will rise at the same rate. So here, you see the hips and shoulders rise at the same rate to where their constantly legs are constantly pushing against the ground, and they get into a much better position here where the shoulders are over the bar, knees are still slightly bent so that they can go into the double knee bend in order to complete the lift, right? This is called a liftoff. This is the exercise that we use with our athletes that are struggling with that first position of the pull, right? A lot of times to cue this, we'll, we'll tell the athlete to lead with their shoulders because if they're leading with their butt, obviously if we tell them to lead with their shoulders first, it might counteract it and have their hips and shoulders move up at the same rate, right? But as a coach, you try to teach this, and as an athlete, you try to teach it slowly at first, try to get the correct positions to begin with, and if they can't get the correct positions to begin with, then lower the weight until they can do this where both the hips and shoulders rise at the same rate. See here, hips and shoulders rise at the same rate to where they get to the knee level. Then the athlete can pause, make sure that they're in a good position, and then they can drop the weight. So again, we'll show you from the side. Here, the athlete's going to get into this position where the hips and shoulders will rise at the same rate. See that? To where the knees are constantly pushing against the ground, constantly pressing, constantly pressing. To where you get to this position where the shoulders are over the bar uh, and the bar is nice and close. So again, what's the best fix to the stripper or the, or the shooting the butt up? It, it almost seems too simple, but practice the lift off and practice it with weights that you can do it successfully. If the weight's too heavy to where you're still constantly shooting your butt up, then lower the weight to where you can do it correctly. Do about four sets of five of these every week with maybe around... 90 to 110 percent of your best clean or snatch uh, but it's really purely based on how if you can keep the correct position throughout the course of this liftoff